Honolulu police believe they have solved a cold case murder. A man was arrested early this morning for the murder of Nancy Anderson 50 years ago. Uh, KITV4 Cynthia Yip now joins us live in studio and reports DNA technology helped identify the suspect. Cynthia. Yeah, that's right, Nurek. That DNA evidence led to today's early morning arrest in Reno, Nevada of 77-year-old Tudor Chirilla on suspicion of second-degree murder. Police say in January of 1972, Nancy Elaine Anderson, who was 19 years old, was found dead in her apartment on Aloha Drive in Waikiki. She was stabbed several times. No one was arrested and the case went cold. Last December, police got a tip that Tudor Chirilla was a potential suspect in the murder of Anderson. Artists created this image of Chirilla based on the DNA evidence found at the scene, using scientific approximations of what he might look like at 25 years old. Honolulu police got a search warrant for Chirilla's DNA sample earlier this month. Reno police helped to get that sample, and yesterday it came back as a match. Honolulu police were able to crack this cold case thanks to the help of Parabon Nanolabs, a DNA technology company in Virginia. So we have several different types of analyses that we can do with, with DNA from a crime scene. Uh, so the first is DNA phenotyping. That means analyzing the DNA and actually picking out the pieces that determine what that person looked like. And we can turn that into an actual composite, a prediction of what that person looked like. So you can imagine that would be very helpful for n narrowing down suspect lists, putting a face back on unidentified remains, things like that. Tudor Chirilla is now 77 years old. No word yet on what led up to the stabbing 50 years ago. HPD says Tudor Chirilla is pending extradition to Hawaii. Reporting live, Cynthia Yip, KTV4 Island News.